Today we're going to talk about applying your white non-skid product to your bathtub. What you'll need. You'll need your kit that came to you in the mail. You need some abrasive cleaner such as Comet or Ajax. Green scrubby pad. Find this on the back of a scotch Bright pad. Sponge. Blue uh, painter's tape. A towel. And I like to use this for my knees. So, first step is to clean the tub. It's very simple, straightforward, but cleaning the tub properly will ensure that you have good adhesion and that your product won't peel once you've applied it. So, let's come down, get some water in the bathtub, sprinkle it out, apply your Comet to the area that you're going to be applying the non-skid to and then for a few minutes really scrub getting all the dirt, oils, grime out of the crevices of the tub because that will also help you get better adhesion on the product. I would say about two minutes time for cleaning so that you get the best adhesion and really get both, go both directions so that you're sure to get all the micro etches in the tub. Once you've cleaned your tub, take any old plastic cup and start rinsing the tub from the back to the front. This will guide everything right down the drain, making it easier to wipe dry. The reason I'm not letting the water run is because the more water I get in and around the tub on the sidewalls, the more I have to wipe down. Water will ruin the product. It will cause it not to adhere properly. So it's key not to let water droplets remain in the tub. So you have some towels here. You're going to start at the top. Anywhere you see water and make sure you get all the water droplets. So we've taped off the area in the bottom of the tub that we want to cover with non-skid and we're going to use our chemical adhesor to pour it into that area, spread it out, and let it evaporate. That will prepare the surface of the tub to adhere with the non-skid. So let's open up the vial and it will run down the tub so I recommend spreading it in a thin line down the center. You don't have to do it all at once, but then smooth it out with your hand, covering every square inch of this area, using more as you need it. Use it all up. And then you're gonna take two minutes and let that dry. What will happen is it will evaporate. And if there's any film left, go ahead and just take a paper towel and wipe it dry. Our adhesor has dried, so we're ready to apply. So we take our product, and you might notice a little bit of separation that happens as it sits. So go ahead and give it a good shake for about 20, 30 seconds until it's mixed. And then you have the option of pouring it straight out of the bottle into the tub, or you can use the clamshell that came with your package, pour it directly into there, and use your roller. I prefer to just pour it right into the tub. So I like to do this by pouring up and down the length of the tub in nice smooth lines covering all the area. This will help you spread it out. If you start, if you pour it all into the middle, you're just going to have a mess on your hands. And you want to avoid splattering. So you never want to get too much on your roller at once. So you've poured out the product and now you're simply going to start moving it around the tub. The roller will absorb some of your non-skid. So be, be careful of that. And also you have to roll lightly because if you press hard, you're going to leave roller marks and you're going to cause splatter to the sidewalls of the tub and you don't want to do that. So simply just get it all rolled out so that it's covering the entire bottom. Don't worry about how uniform it looks yet. 
I got a lot back there. Move it up and down. And once all the areas have non-skid on it and your roller is fully saturated, you can start with nice, even strokes up and down, making it uniform. Now you've completely rolled the product in the entire area that you wanted to cover in the bottom of the top. Your job is pretty much done. The only thing left is to let this sit for about a half an hour and then remove the tape. Don't wait the whole five hours and leave the tape on there. Do it in about a half an hour.